One of my favourite things to eat is a bowl of creamy vanilla ice cream. I am intrigued as to how ice cream gets its vanilla flavour and aroma. I have discovered that vanillin is the main component that creates vanilla's great taste and smell. But what exactly is vanillin? Vanillin is an organic crystal that is the primary chemical component of vanilla extract and is largely responsible for the distinct taste and smell of vanilla. Vanillin is mainly used as a food flavouring and fragrance in things like ice cream, chocolate, perfume, soap and air fresheners. The chemical formula of vanillin is C8H8O3. This means that there are 8 carbon atoms represented by the black balls, 8 hydrogen atoms shown by the white balls, and 3 oxygen atoms, the red balls. Vanillin is a covalent compound as all elements are non-metals and all bonds are covalent. In vanillin there are both single and double bonds. Single bond, double bond. These covalent bonds are the intramolecular forces and they hold together the various elements in the compound. Vanillin is also named 4-hydroxy-3-methoxy-benzaldehyde. Vanillin is in the functional groups aldehyde, alcohol, ether and aromatic. The molecule structure of vanillin is mainly composed of trigonal planers between the carbon atoms and these bonds have 120 degree bond angles. There are also two bent structures between the oxygen atoms and one tetrahedral structure which has 109 degree bond angles. There is a large and continuous demand for vanillin, however the natural process of extraction can take up to six months. As the demand of vanillin has increased, new methods have been developed to produce synthetic vanillin. Synthetic vanillin is currently mainly produced from various processes using guaiacol and glycylic acid. And amazingly, in 2007, a Japanese researcher developed a way to extract vanillin from cow dung. Sounds delicious. Vanillin is slightly soluble in water, but is freely soluble in solvents such as glycyl acetic acid, alcohol, chloroform, ether, carbon disulfide, and methanol. This allows for vanillin to be dissolved and mixed in with other components to create things like chocolate, perfume, soap, and of course, ice cream.